Hey there boys and girls, Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School. Look what I got here. I was walking here in the Longueuil section, uh, section, section. It's not even a section, it's just south of Montreal in the South Shore as we call it. Check this out, man. I've been wanting to film one of these for a while. This is one of those, you know, old cars that was uh, in competition at that time when it was made between 87 and 90... 90... When the hell did they make this model? Till 92, I think. Yeah, because after that, they totally re redesigned this design. And I've been wanting to film one of these for a while because, you know, again, this was... Uh, they were never as common as, um, uh, you know, other performance cars at the time. Affordable, affordable sports cars, such as Fox-bodied Mustangs, Camaros, Firebirds. And at that time, what was the competition for that? The direct competition with also a V6 around 3 liters was, yeah, the uh, Nissan 300ZX. But interestingly enough, since I'm a very visual person and I have a photographic memory, you know, the uh, lovely street, isn't it? Gorgeous. I was just filming a walk on the street. Anyway, what was I saying? The, uh, if I'm not, if I'm wrong, the 300ZX from Nissan of that era did not look as wide as this car you know oh what's that oh i like these cars i don't care what people say you know i'll tell you guys a little story about that quick quick you know i'm an artist if you guys you don't know me i'm an artist you know and uh, back in uh, 92 i entered a contest to design a ford of the future for 2045 and i kid you not it looked like that taurus and then imagine the taurus of that elk came out two years later it's in very nice condition what's great about a car like this you know the car is about 30 years old give or take it's in very good condition it's not mint so therefore you can drive it you can enjoy it you know it's not worth a lot of money not very powerful either but got leather interior oh by the way let me point something out here by the way you know, one of the simplest reasons why I love almost all old cars, I don't care if they're expensive, they're cheap, station wagons, they all have usually colorful interiors. Today's cars are all gray interior, they're all black. It's boring, on top of looking cheap, you know what I mean? Anyway, that's a very nice sight. I can see the guy's been drag, drag racing maybe with this car on a, somewhere on a racetrack. He's got the numbers on there. That's a cool car, man, you know? What a nice surprise. This is why I, I, I'm a YouTuber. It's, it's not just because I film these nice walks, you'll enjoy them. I love finding the old cars. Holy Christ. You know, and uh, yeah, get off the sidewalk. About a neck. Because, see, a lot of these cars, even a car like that, could easily wind up in a junkyard. Scrap. You know? I want to get one last shot of it. I just noticed something interesting about the styling of this car, looking at it for a while, that never struck me before. But if you look at the front, you know what this looks like a lot? It almost looks as, as if BMW copied this for the 850i. Think about that. Interesting. Anyway, bye-bye.